Not going to lie, 2015 is about um, a terrible way to put it, but 2015, god damn, it's got some good games coming out. Straight off the bat, January 15, H1Z1's coming out, which is Sony's answer to DayZ, and fingers crossed, this pre-alpha beta, whatever it's going to fucking be in January 15, hopefully it's nowhere near as buggy as DayZ. Because everyone had high hopes for Daisy, and their fucking guy in charge just went fucking stupid. I, that's probably the most fast a company has sold all of its credit down the drain in such a short time. From the hype of Daisy on Armor 2 and then Armor 3 coming out, and they're saying. We're going to be making our own standalone using the Armor 3 Armor 2 engine, and it's going to be sweet. And we're like, oh yeah, we, we can get behind that, and we're going to fix all the bugs that we had in the Armor 2 mod, because we're going to get official stuff from the Armor 3 people, it's going to be great. We're like, oh yeah, this is fucking great, fucking great, give it to us, give it to us, give it to us. And they delayed it, and they delayed it, and they pushed it back, and they pushed it back. And we're like, do we even care anymore, guys? Oh, we sort of care. I mean, it was really good a year ago. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, but I just, just, oh, it's, it's a broken piece of mess. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. But anyway, we, we, we pull our pants up. We went, all right. It's a buggy piece of mess. But it did pave the way for all these other... Oh wait, all these other games are crappy too, and they're all on Kickstarter. Oh, Kickstarter's losing all its credits. Wow, God, everything's just shit. And now we got Saints Row: Get Out of Hell. I have no idea what this is. I really don't. And a very peculiar turn of events. Resident Evil: The Original Games can get HD remaster actually for the PC, not just the GameCube, and for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I presume. I assume they might be coming out PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 as well. I can't be 100% sure, but it just came out of nowhere. I didn't hear about it until literally a week ago. And I was like, oh, cool. But I'll tell you what's really interesting. My favorite remake that's coming out, which is Heroes of My Magic 3. My god, when this game comes out, I will be playing it for ages. If you haven't played Heroes of My Magic 3, this is the perfect time to buy it. It's coming out January 28th, I believe. That's gonna be fucking sweet. But, <laughs> I'm not gonna stop there. January is still kicking strong. We still got some actual games coming out. I was fucking surprised. I thought, like, oh, it's January, there's not gonna be any games. And then Dying Light's coming out. It's gonna be pretty good. And not, not long after Dying Light, Evolve is coming out in March. Now that is going to be pretty great. Unfortunately, we had Grand Theft Auto 5 delayed. I'm, I'm very upset about that. And although they've given us a new release date, I'm, I don't feel like that's a strong release date. They haven't said they've gone gold yet. Once they say they've gone gold, I'm like, sure, this is actually going to be the release date. But until then, I don't believe any release dates that Rockstar gives, because they always delay. Just look at goddamn heists. That's been delayed month after month after month after month as they redid it and they redid it and they redid it. They definitely should not have put so much emphasis into heists being such a big thing in the multiplayer. That was bad marketing. Bad, you know, publishers and developers not communicating properly. But, you know, it's fine. We can get over it. I'm going to go back to Evolve. They are really screwing us Australians in the ass. They are just getting right deep and just pounding us down. Is If you live in Australia, you are never going to be playing Evolve. That's pretty much what's going to happen. And we already have so little excuse to buy these short-term multiplayer games like Left 4 Dead and... What was the other one? It was came out January of last year. Titanfall. Those games including COD, they have the shortest multiplayer life cycle in all of history. It is just awful. And Evolve having a price point fixed at $80 is ridiculous in Australia. It is ridiculous. And they've gone and co-opted 
every single Australia retailer and said, no, you cannot sell to them cheaper than $80. And that's a lot of money in Australia. Like, we get paid a little more than Americans, we get paid a little more than a lot of countries. Our minimum wage is a little bit higher, but our dollar is not as strong as it used to be. And when they slap us in the face of $80 price tags for video games, that is... Don't get me wrong, it's average in our retails to be $80, but we go online and we buy overseas and we get cheaper. And when people like go out of their way to force these high prices like Evolvers, that's just a huge red flag and a giant fuck you to Australians. So, a lot of the Australians that are going to buy it are going to be purchasing VPNs for like $2 in Mexico and buying the game there for a quarter of the price it is in Australia. Literally, I'm not lying to you. The base price for Evolve in Australia is $80. The base price for Evolve in America is $50. That's a $20 price gap right there. That's different. And if we have to pay, you know, $2 to get a VPN just to buy it at $50, we're going to do that. We are the biggest money pinches around, Australians. And we're proud of it. We're not ashamed that we have to bend the rules just so we can get what we want. Next we have Total War Attila coming out, and I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit a fan of Total War, it's just, I don't know, a lot of the games are hit and miss, some of them are like really great, others of them are not so great, and you can never tell at the start of the life cycle. You're just like, is this going to be a good game, is this a bad game, I don't know, I don't know, so, don't buy Total War Attila pre-purchase, wait for it to come out, see some gameplay, go, ah oh, yeah, that could be good, yeah, yeah, and then purchase it based on your feelings of the Total War franchise as a whole. Like I heard Total War Alexander, fucking great game, I never played it. I tried the Total War 2, Shogun 2, I mean, Total War Shogun 2, that wasn't so good. Total War Shogun 1, great game, I loved it back in the day. Now we got Hotline Miami coming out, Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, coming out sometime in Q1. I, again, I wasn't a huge fan of the first game. I mean, I played it and I was like, yeah, this is alright, it's fun, a bit goofy. Lots of blood and gore, but I didn't like how it was insta-death. Like, you get hit once, you're dead. You get briefed on, you're dead. You run in, you kill some people, they all die in one hit, you get briefed on, you're dead. I, I don't... Like, I get it. I understand the gameplay, I understand the reason why, and I get it's sort of like a puzzle game, and I just... It's just not for me. It's for some people. It's for people that... Like playing The Lost and Binding of Isaac, and I'm not one of those people. I hate The Lost and Binding of Isaac. And that's... Oh, just about it for early 2015, but still quite a lot of good games there. Wait, wait, Witcher 3 coming out May 19. I don't know if I'd call that Q1 though, that's kind of Q2, you know. So, it's there though. Witcher 3 just at the end of May, but the start of 2015 is looking great. A lot of great games coming out, a lot to be excited for. Still no solid release date for Metal Gear Solid 5 Pain and Pain though. Can't wait for that game. As you can see from my gameplay on my channel, I've had a few Metal Gear Solid Grand Zero video and that's on PC and Pain and Pain's coming to PC so you can expect some videos of that. I love Metal Gear, I think it's a great game. That's about it guys, I hope you enjoy a little look forward to the 2015, the first quarter. It was I'm very surprised at how many games are actually coming out compared to last year. Like, last year, Q1, I think we really had Titanfall, and that was about it, really. I'm trying to think of what else came out at the beginning. Like, I know Shadow Mordor, but that came out in mid year, not at the beginning. Mm, there was that Hardline beta in Q1, I remember that. That was <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> so bad. Oh well, now I can't remember much of the Q1 of last year. Q1 this year, shaping up great. See you later guys.